today I want to show you how the saddle shoulder of the transom cardigan fits together. If you haven't done a saddle shoulder before, and particularly if you haven't done a saddle shoulder that's seamless, it might be quite confusing how all the parts fit together. So I thought I would run through a quick diagram and show you how it all fits together so you have an overview before you get started. To begin with, what you're going to begin start with is just the back pen panel. It's just this little very small triangle here. You cast on across here for the width of the neck. Here, this isn't quite the full width, but you get the idea, the full width of the neck here, and it's going to be this diagonal stitch pattern. And you work down just a couple of inches, which is going to be the width of half of your saddle. So when you reach the, the length that you're meant to in the pattern, then you break your yarn and you put all of those live stitches there just on waist yarn or an extra needle. Waist yarn is probably better because you don't have extra needles floating around. Now, this is going to form the very beginning of this section here. From this point, what you're going to do is you're going to, first of all, on the right saddle, pick up stitches here across this side here, and then you will cast on when you turn around onto the wrong side row, the second half here. So you've got half of the stitches are picked up from the back panel and half of them are picked up here, just coming up to the second half. So that will be the full width of the right saddle. And then you're going to go and you will knit this to the width that your shoulder is, which will be a few inches all the way along here. And then you'll do like you did with this back panel and you'll break the yarn and just put those stitches on a spare holder. Once that's done, come back here and you're going to, first of all, do just cast on half of the stitches to here. And then with those stitches on the needle, you're then going to pick up this section here. And just the inverse of this, you're going to do the same thing and work several inches of the left saddle and put all of those in waste yarn. So that's getting that first little set of three panels finished. From there, we're going to go and you will pick up stitches across here. Well, of course, you'll pick up stitches here. You'll put these live stitches back on the needle and you'll pick up these ones. And then you're going to work your back all the way down as far as here and do some armhole increases. Then you can sit those stitches on a spare needle to the side. Then you come back and just on this part of the right saddle, pick up stitches and start working down this section with increases for your V-neck. And you will do the very same straight here, first of all, and then begin doing armhole increases. Put those on a spare needle and do the same thing here, but just having your increases on this side for the neck. And close to the end, you'll have your armhole increases. So now you've got all three sections. And you'll go ahead and knit this one, cast on underarm stitches, knit across the back, cast on underarm stitches, and knit the right front. And at that point, you can see you've got your body completed. And you work your body down with whatever shaping you want to add into it. So what's left now is our armhole. And if I pull this to the side here and just do this is imagine we're looking up at the side these are all of those live saddle stitches that you still have here. This is the back here that's knit down and it curves in under for your armhole. This is the front and it curves under and that's where you would cast on stitches across the underarm here for joining your body. Now we're going to knit this in the round from the top down and you're going to use short rows to shape the armhole. So what you'll do is you start at the beginning here and with, usually I use a long circular needle for a magic loop, but if you want to use double pointed needles, that works just fine too. Just pick up stitches all the way around to the side of the saddle. Then if you put those stitches on the other needle, you can work all the way across that saddle. And then you pick up stitches all the way down here. So now you have stitches all the way around the armhole. Now what you will do is you'll work back up to the side of the saddle here and do a short row and then work over here and do a short row. I use the wrap and turn method and I don't pick up the wrap because I find it leaves a very nice attractive edging as you go down. So we're going to go back and forth and you will add 
one extra stitch each time. So a bit like a short row heel if you've ever done that, but only curving in one direction. So you're going to keep going back and forth like this, adding one extra stitch until you've curved all the way down here and you've created this lovely sleeve cap. And you won't go right around to the edge, you stop just about where you've got those underarm stitches so it doesn't curve into the underarm. At that point you just knit straight down with your sleeve in a tube. So hopefully that gives you a, a kind of a, a visual a visualization of how the whole thing fits together which should help I think um, as you knit your way through this cardigan. Enjoy the construction!